So here we are at the hotel again. We're going to um, turn the power off. So the hotel will be a darkness and then we can set away, connect now with voltage optimizer up. Looking forward to this. There we go. She's off. We've got no power. We've got a bit of emergency light, but that's about it. So what we've got to do, those, I'll show you when, when uh, Marcelo takes the uh, takes the covers off. We've got to remove some links in the bus bar, take those out completely, connect one side of ours. Go on, you can jump up. You can get in the you can get in the uh, video. You know. We'll take them in, connect the load side, the supply side to that, the load side to the other side, which then powers all of the breakers that go out to various parts of the hotel, which is then governed by that fella there. So hopefully it won't take us too long. All right, we're just trying to unloosen the, uh, the links, which are proven incredibly difficult, which is, I thought they might because of the amount of time that they've gone in and obviously they'll be talked up to quite a quite a setting I've got we've got one out so we're just trying to get the others we've got another three to come out and what we've got a bit of light on the subject really really tight so what I'm doing I've tied the spanner off to the buzz bar and then I can get two hands on the ratchet onto the onto the nut head tighten it and what will happen is that will go up hit the steel and then I can loosen it in theory so what we've got the other bolt nut combination the nut the bolt head spins the other way so I couldn't rely on this it's going down over it wants to go the, the spanner wants to go this way me, I'm just curious. Okay, okay. Man. okay so what I've done is I've put in part of a ratchet extension, a socket extension, to stop the spanner moving across the two bus bars. So, see if Marcelo can... Well, there's not a vast amount of room, but I have got it loose now, and you'll be able to see that the, the spanner isn't moving. There's not a vast amount of room. There we go, it's gone. Lovely. Out. Now what we've got to do is just do the neutral now, but the neutral, we're only taking one bolt out because we're not taking the link out because the neutral is going to be supplied back over to the optimizer and then the neutral will flow through the uh, the rest of the hotel anyway, so we don't need to take the link out, which is, which is lovely because that would mean taking another bolt out and quite frankly my dear, I don't particularly want to. There you go. Okay, we've had the trunk and levelled up. I don't know whether you can see, let's put a bit of light on it. Yeah. I would make you a coffee, but I can't because someone's fixed the power off. <laughs> but I'll get you so that's what we're going to cut. Marcelo's going to cut, to be more precise. Righty, oh, right. So, we've been working, because obviously the power's off, so we, we can't be standing around filming and chatting and whatever else. So, We've got the main side, we've got, only got one neutral, we've got mains L3, L2, obviously L1's going over there. They go over in the trunking, right the way around, where are we at, over there, down onto the top side of the optimizer. From the bottom, they come back out in the same trunking all the way over, onto this side. So there you can see load, L3. L2 load. We're going to put L1s on and essentially that is it. That is the job. We can turn the power back on and then we can uh, we can see what's actually happening. I'll show you how, well, I'll fit that one. I'll do, because that's the easiest one. <laughs> I'll do L L1 and hopefully I don't make a mistake now I've said it's the easiest one. There we go. Does that, can that go on the front? Does it have to go on the back? Oh no, that's fine. So normally I'd put the nut on that, but I can hold it and I can get the measure at the same time because it's right next to it. So, 
go up a tiny little bit. And what that does, see how it's dropped? So it, that is below the lug now. But I can lift it into place. And what that does, it gives me a little bit of play up, down, rather than being straight onto the um, straight onto the lug with no room. So if you've got that option, utilise it. I always do. It just makes life a little bit easier. The rest of them, I, was, I didn't have to do this because there was enough on them. I'll pull it out. Now, Emu's been well on form and he's been cutting straight through. See if he does it again. Obviously he won't because he's on film. Oh, Emu, you bottler. Nah, change it now. Oh, hang on, I'm not giving him a chance, look. He should be cutting that way. Oh, my battery! Disaster. This is why editing's a good thing. <laughs> We'll put it in a blooper reel. Right, so yeah, it should be cutting that way. There he goes. Now I can forgive him for that one little strand. Write on its name what it was, Lord L1 Lord Exhaust Cutter. Nice and tentatively, really. So then you can. Oh, if I can see it. There we go. Give it a little grip and a rotate. You don't want to be going too mad. That's about it, because obviously you'll start putting the little threads off. See, even with a cameraman, I'm still in the bloody way. Oh. There we go. You were. Uh... Oh, look, he's only got it. And he's only got it and filming at the same time. Multitasking. Multitasking. So I was like, that's going to give up now. Right, that's that sort of Right, don't judge me, or don't judge us, should I say. But, we, uh, where's that brown tape? We're putting tape on. And the only reason we're putting tape on is because the power's off. And I haven't got a battery heat gun. And I'm not spending nigh on a thousand pound on a battery heat gun to use once in a blue moon. So tape it is. It's worked for decades. So it will keep on working. And if you are using tape, always snap it off at the back so you don't have an ugly line. There we go. Right. Drop that in. There's the air is tight. It's a hoiding. That's what I'll be getting if I get if I forget the missus uh, her flowers tonight, I'll be getting a hiding. Because it's Valentine's Day, isn't it? Trying to put an 18, 18 mil spanner and an 18 mil nut, so yeah, no wonder it's not working.
Right, unlike most of you, I've got a built-in torque wrench in, in my arm. It was one of the things I got when I was born. So, I don't even need to torque the, the nut up. See? You know what I mean? It has its advantages being bionic. And if you believe that, you'll sadly believe anything. I want to bend it outside before I put it in to make my life easier. <clears throat> and yes, I have extended the uh, over egg the bend radius, but it will all come out in the wash when I straighten it up. Should be able to get the mark without having to measure it properly, really, because we've got we've got the space to do it with. Which is always nice. Ah! Oh, I thought it was going to go in the uh, the buzz bar chamber. So that's this L one. Tightening this. Let's try that as we get this. There we go. Again, don't go mad, that's it, it's enough. See, it just proves I didn't go all the way through and damage the cable. Lovely. Last crimp. Will the battery hold up? That's the thing.
Come on, battery. You can do it. Wow. That was close. Right, let's get this taped up and connected. Then we can get it talked up and tested. What I would like to say to people who are designing jobs is, did you see how easy that was with 300 mil cores? We're not wrestling and breaking our backs or anything. So instead of doing four cores, like 300, 400 mil, four cores, and maybe even 240 sometimes, just have a think about using single core cables. To make life easy for everyone. There we go. The job. The job she is done. All connected and ready to go. Right, I'm going to show you why we've just installed that here we go we got this is the voltage coming in on each phase this is the voltage going out and the way that this works is those can you see you got six seven eight nine ten percent right all the way down on each phase now what we can do is we can go one more percent but then that that needs maths so I'll have to work that out and sit and it might be, what is that? So one more percent of 200 is 2.2. .2. So we get, yeah, we make it down to 222 or sort of something like that, 223. So there is, that's the, that's the voltage and that is going to save electricity. Obviously, because there's not as much of it. It's going to save money. That's your safety switch, turn that off. We can fiddle with all of this if we need to turn it back on and that is basically how simple that machine is there's not really a lot more needs explaining that voltage comes in the machine turns it into that that saves money from the electricity company and the hotel or whichever factory or whatever it is saves a fortune simple that's it, lights are back on, sockets are back on, tills are back on, um, optimizers up and running. We've just got to wait for the report now to see how much, obviously in a month's time when they get the electricity bill, how much it saved them, how uh, efficient it runs. I really enjoyed the day, been a really good project to be involved with. Uh, thanks, massive thanks to Marcelo for inviting me along. This hotel group have ordered two more of the machines, so hopefully we'll get the job to install those. And if we do, come along with us and have a watch. Well, thanks very much. Little thumbs up. I'll see you on the next one. Hopefully it's one of these.